a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded one of my latest videos on the World Mission Society Church of God. After I uploaded that video, which I'll put in the description below, it was only up for about two to three weeks until I got a email from YouTube that was saying that the video has been restricted. I couldn't figure this out at first. I didn't know what restricted means on the video, but here's what happened. A member of the World Mission Society Church of God complained about this video, alleging that the video was hate speech. Evidently, there's a setting in YouTube after you make your videos. So for watching a video on YouTube, we can go into the video and if we find it offensive in some way, then we can fill out an online form and submit it to YouTube and they'll tell us and they will allow us to say what is wrong with that video, whether we believe it's hate speech or whether it has excessive violence or whatever. YouTube went ahead and put it on restrictive mode. And what this means is that they just took away some of the ability of people to comment on the video and then you couldn't make any comments. You couldn't make comments, you couldn't see the comments. So one of the things that they allow you to do on YouTube is they allow you to uh, file like a, an appeal, which I did. And basically what I said was that none of my videos are hate speech. None of them promote violence, and particularly this video about the evil of the World Mission Society Church of God. And what this video was about was it went into the, the problems with idolatry that the World Mission Society Church of God promotes with their blasphemous worship of the Mother God, God the Mother, and An Han Song, who they believe was God the, God the Father, or the male part of God. The World Mission Society teaches that there are two gods, God the Mother and God the Father, and that the woman in South Korea, Zing Jang Gil, I can't ever pronounce these South Korean names correctly, but they worship this woman in South Korea as being God in the flesh. Friends, this is absolutely horrific that a cult like this would lead their people into idolatry by this shameless and shameful worship of the South Korean woman and this other man on Han Song. After I appealed it, YouTube looked at the video again and they agreed that there was nothing that merited any type of restriction. So they removed all the restrictions off of my video. But here's why I'm making this point right now. I could make a point about the problems with YouTube doing this kind of stuff. They just arbitrarily looked at my video and then they removed, they put these restrictions on it without first contacting me and saying, hey, listen, Roy, we've got this complaint about your video. What do you have to say about it? The problem with this, of course, is that YouTube didn't allow me to give my, to present my case and say, well, listen, look at the video. You can see that there is no problems with my video, but they didn't allow me to do that. But what I want to talk about is the problems with the World Mission Society Church of God. Friends, please listen and watch this video. And you tell me if there's any hate speech or calls to violence against the World Mission Society Church of God. You'll see how wrong YouTube was to make this decision. But again, the big point is the World Mission Society Church of God, the members, and what they did, they went into this video, and I used the Bible. I put Bible verses in there about the penalties, what happened to people during the Old Testament times that engaged in idolatry. And friends, it's very serious. You can read in Deut Deuteronomy chapter 13. I don't want to go through it because I already made a video on it. But it's very serious when you engage in idolatry, and particularly if you lead others into idolatry, there's severe penalties, death, for the person who leads anyone into the worship of a false idol, a false god. So what I did is that I used the Bible I took scriptures, and the World Mission Society Church of God, also known as the Elohim Academy, lied and said that my video was promoting either hate speech or violence against them. Now, do I know exactly who made these comments? Do I know exactly what person came in there and filed this report against me? No, I don't. Do I know absolutely for sure it was a member of the World Mission Society Church of God? Again, I don't know, but it's obvious 
that it was the World Mission Society Church of God, one of their leaders, one of the members, maybe several, maybe more than one, maybe a handful, maybe a who knows how many it was. But they complained. They lied. Friends, this is the problem with cults like the World Mission Society Church of God. The World Mission Society Church of God is a deceptive, deceiving, lying group. And they will do anything to keep a person like myself from making a video and highlighting and drawing attention to their blasphemous doctrines, their false prophecies, all the things that they have done to ruin people's lives in their group, the brainwashing, the separating of people from their family members, the unbelievable amount of time that you have to spend in the group and listening to their brainwashing sermons and teachings, their emphasis on tithing, their micromanaging of people's lives. The World Mission Society Church of God understands the power of the internet. They understand the power that YouTube has to change people's minds, to allow them to make their own decisions, to take another look at a group like the World Mission Society Church of God and leave that group because they can see the problem with the group and some of their teachings. When you watch any of the videos put out by the World Mission Society Church of God, they have some very slick videos. And you can go to those videos and you can see all the so-called good works they do and all these other type of things. And friends, they know that one of the worst things for any group is to have negative YouTube videos or other type of social media commentary that come out and present the other side, the real side, the truth of these groups. And they know, like the Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, I do a lot of videos on Jehovah's Witnesses, and the internet has done extreme damage to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. It has brought to light many of the problems that have been hidden for decades. For generations with the with the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. So the World Mission Society leadership knows the power that the internet has to shape public opinion. And they do anything they can to restrict people like myself from putting out these videos. Even resorting to lying. This should show you one of the problems of the World Mission Society Church of God. Friends, it's unconscionable that they would lie and say that my video was an example of hate speech and or threatening violence against them. I just want this video to be just another piece of evidence of the problems with this group.